This voyage is unlike any other voyage because of its magnitude and because of the risk. Can you actually sail around the world and hopefully? Can you actually physically do that? Can you create a mission and a vision that's going to make the purpose of the voyage outweigh that risk? Because in the end, it was all about leadership. It was all about believing. It was all about trusting. It was all about helping take the risk. And it was all about being a part of the fulfillment of the mission. The worldwide voyage forced us to find other navigators. And the person I went to first would be Bert Kobayashi. He was the one that I trusted the most. The reason why I trusted him because he was there with my father from the beginning. That would come together from very different worlds, but would unite around core values that they held dearly. One was support the well-being of Native Hawaiian people and support the education of all children in Hawaii, all children. Bert says, hey, you go talk to this guy by the name of Mark Dunkley, the CEO of Hawaiian Airlines. And you go inside there, you sit down with him, and then you know you only got 30 minutes, so that at some point in time, you're gonna have to make the ass night on. You gotta tell him, $50,000, maybe he'll come down to 25. We talked for two hours and 45 minutes. And never about money, but about all the things that matter. You know, Mark Dunkley is an aviator. He's a voyager, he's a flyer. So he knows what it is to be in special places. And that meeting I'll never forget, the rest of my life. It's about the voyage allowing us to have strangers meet with yeah. each other and then become brothers, supporting each other around common goals. The worldwide voyage should never leave Hawaii if this was not relevant to Hawaiian children. This is their canoe, it's their voyage, it's their legacy, it's their genealogy. And so we needed a connection and a link to our Hawaiian children. And there's no better institution on the planet than Kamehameha Schools. We're grateful for Jack Wong's leadership to keep the institution committed. Without those three, we couldn't untie the lines and really ethically believe that we could really go. Bert and Mark and Jack. What's great about the voyage is it's something a third grader could understand. It's about a sense of urgency, it's about risk, it's about caring for the planet. And so when he approached about taking a worldwide voyage, our approach really was, is this something our Keiki can get excited about? Is this something they can understand? And can we show them how we connect our past to our present to our future in a global way? And for us, it was a big part of Hawaiian culture-based education in the direction we're going in. From our perspective, PVS and the worldwide voyage really hits all of the sort of right strings of the ukulele of what's important in this community. It celebrates culture, which is important. It helps educate the young about the world, about excellence. It demands excellence from the participants in it. It helps bring people together from disparate parts of the world. It, it represents voyaging, which is an airline obviously we have a natural connection to. So at any number of these different levels, PVS and the Worldwide Voyage really speaks to Hawaiian Airlines and, and what we stand for. I think, especially the Hawaiian community, you know, they, they have to know where they came from, their roots, and you know, how did they get here? You know, gotta be on a canoe. And it's a long way, but they did it, you know. And now we've proven that we can be done, especially when they went around the world, traveling 40,000 nautical miles, and also visiting 27 countries and 150 ports. That's amazing, you know. And to do that is a monumental, three-year monumental journey. And I think all the crewmen, especially the younger people, will never forget what they did. 
I think probably three things come out of the voyage that I hope are enduring, and, and frankly, I'm optimistic that they are. The first one, of course, is a basis for the further and continuing education of young people in this community. I think the Keiki have clearly rallied around the worldwide voyage, and in doing so in the ways that Jack has articulated in particular, it provides an entry point into all kinds of conversations about the world and the globe in the 21st century that they're growing up into. So I think that's wonderful. Yeah. The second is environmental awareness. I mean, we as island communities should be perhaps more aware of the environment than most others. And by voyaging around the world, we are opening the door to further understanding and frankly concern and education of the environment. Seventy-one percent of the surface is ocean. How we protect the ocean, how we protect our resources. To me that's very important because that is our lifeblood. The third thing is that it is challenging some pre-established notions of how knowledge was accumulated over the last thousand years. We've now proven that celestial navigation, something that wasn't mastered until well into the 19th century, was something that was mastered by the native Hawaiians as they found their way around the Pacific. The hope lay in so many ways and will continue to be the hope of our people. And it's the hope because it helps us connect our past, our present, to our future. And it does it in a way that no other entity, no other organization can do because our kids understand it. And as they can see it, they're the ones who are going to propel us into the future with that knowledge and understanding. We have a voyaging company. It's called Hokulea. It has mana. It's connected to the earth. It's built relationships around this culture of people that are based on values around the whole planet. We need to keep being a part of the movement in a way that we can stay connected. We have all these relationships around the world. We have all these relationships at home and we need to keep sailing. We need to help young people come up with 10,000 new voyages. It doesn't have to be on voyaging canoes. As long as it's embedded in those core values of Malama Honuma and to help them find their way and help them encourage to let go of the lines and go. And so our work in many ways just started because you have a movement that must be sustained and it must be successful. <laughs>